what is going on everybody so in today's video we're going to go over a fragrance that we got in the mail this fragrance is from alt fragrance now you can see their presentation here it's actually a little different from the way that they used to do it they used to actually have the black velvet bags they would send their uh, fragrances in they end up switching over to the boxes, which I think is really nice and slick. You got all fragrance in this dark gray, almost navy blue sort of box here in big white letters. You got extra de parfum, two ounce, 60 ml on there. You have made by all fragrance on one side, extra de parfum on the other. And the company info at the top here, the logo, directions for use, ingredients, as well as caution information. Go ahead and open this up. And you are met with your bottle here. The fragrance we're going to be going over today is Cherry Smash. This is Alt Fragrance variation of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This is a fragrance that I've yet to really get my nose on. So I'm very interested in seeing how this one smells. Right now, checking out this juice. This juice looks absolutely gorgeous. Like this nice dark yellow sort of juice. Dark yellow or orangish yellow. Really nice, really deep coloring on that. Cap holds pretty well. Nice looking atomizer here. And spray on this. Really wide, full distribution on that spray. We'll try a little bit on skin. Really good. What I'm picking up so far, I'm liking. Let's take a look at the notes. So the notes for this fragrance is cherry, bitter almond, cherry liquor, cherry syrup, jasmine sambac, roasted tonka beans, sandalwood, cedarwood, and Peru balsam. What I'm picking up, it's like a really tart, sweet, there is a little bit of like this tang there as well. That's gonna come from that uh, Peru balsam. I wanna say that sort of balsamic note is gonna mix in with a lot of the sweet, the syrup, the the bitter almond the cherry notes and that's going to help create some of that sort of tangy back and forth vibe from that sweetness there's a lot of sweetness in here for some odd reason it's it's not headache inducing it's not overly done to me it comes off and is done in a right way there's other notes in here sort of counteracts it you get just a slight woodiness and i kind of wish that woodiness was a little bit louder in my opinion but coming off first impressions, you're getting like this sweet, tangy, you're getting this deep sort of uh, depth to it a little bit, but it's super like, super heavy on that cherry. Very tart, very sweet, very almost sharp for it to be a cherry note. With that tanginess in there, it almost gives you a, like a cherry fruit punch vibe, almost you're getting just a little bit of like this faint spice with that roasted tonka bean. And I, I kind of wish some of those elements was amped up a little bit more. I wish the cedar wood was a bit more amped up, the tonka bean, but overall, this is a, it's really nice, y'all, surprising. And cherry is not something that I would necessarily reach for, nothing that I would necessarily care for. But honestly, this smells really good. And to be perfectly honest, I feel like this is a great layering fragrance. Layering this with different things could probably really work out. I've seen Dua use, utilize this with Aventus. I've seen Making Sense utilize this with uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. I've seen Sensual Obsessions utilize this with Andy Warhol and create a, a really sweet and a really interesting variation uh, with that particular fragrance. And I wouldn't mind playing around with this and seeing what other ways you could utilize this and what ways you could combine this or layer it to see if you can create something truly unique and different. Maybe even uh, see what how, how this would pan out with a Sauvage, taking that super metallic, loud, headache inducing fragrance and kind of cutting it down with some sweetness, a little bit of smolder, a little bit of that woodiness. Well, with the cedar wood and sandalwood and that tanginess from that Peru balsam and seeing how that would pan out with this fragrance. It seems like the woodiness comes up a little bit more as this begins to sit down and settle down. One of the main issues that I've heard about this particular, uh, the original to this, the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, 
was the performance and saying that the performance on it was subpar and people was getting like maybe two, maybe three hours of performance out of it, but they were paying a decent amount. So they were paying upwards of maybe like two or something like that, two, maybe 300. And it just, the, the performance wasn't good on it. So let's see how this one does. I'll come back in a week or so and do a review video on this one and seeing how this one actually performs. But so far, I, I like that. I like the presentation, very simple, straightforward. Nice size bottle, great atomizer on that. You get a lovely, syrupy, musky, slightly woody, slightly spiced, and tangy cherry fragrance. And it's just, to me, it's well done. I, like I said, I wish certain elements were a bit more amped up, but other than that, I'm very much so happy with this. Cherry Smash, available on their website, is listed for this size, which is the two ounce, for about 50 bucks, so not bad. Like I said, beautiful juice, nice atomizer, nice simple presentation. We'll see how this performs in the next week or so. I'll drop the link in the description where you guys can check out all fragrance for yourself. A look through their lineup. They have a pretty decent lineup. Most of them are the mainstream designer and mainstream niche fragrances that are pretty popular and usually pretty, you know, sought after. I know they have I know they have the one ounce bottles and they have the two ounce, and I believe they also have like pocket size bottles. I forgot what size those are, but they're these really skinny and thin sort of pocket sprayers. I actually have one of them here. So this one is of one of my favorite fragrances from them, which is Nirvana. Nirvana is their variation of Elysium. And this is their pocket sprayer. Very thin, very discreet. The sprayer is right here on top. Got Alt Fragrance pocket sprayer. This is a 20 ml fragrance. And the atomizer on it, not bad for it to be, you know, to be this size this shape it is kind of an awkward shape but it can fit really slick into the pocket depending on what your attire is really nice presentation on that and this is the box here extra de parfum got directions for use pocket spray 20 ml like i said i will drop the link in the description where you guys can check this out for yourself and that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will see you guys soon peace